Steamed sea crab and young lim fish braised with lemongrass, the taste of Independence Day. Independence Day is a special occasion for the whole family to gather together, not only to reminisce about historical memories but also to enjoy dishes with traditional flavors. Among the colorful dishes of the holiday, steamed sea crab and young lim fish braised with lemongrass are always the two dishes that take the center stage in my family's meals. Steamed sea crab stands out with the natural sweetness of the ocean. It is prepared simply but delicately, preserving the fresh flavor of the crab, just adding a little ginger to enhance the richness. Each piece of firm crab meat, mixed with salt, pepper and lemon sauce, has become the soul of the party. Not stopping there, young lim fish braised with lemongrass, a traditional dish brings a culinary experience imbued with the essence of the West. Young lim fish is soft and sweet, braised with lemongrass and spices to create a symphony of flavors that are both spicy and refreshing. The rich flavor of fish blends with the strong aroma of lemongrass, making everyone exclaim. These are not only dishes, but also stories about the diligence and ingenuity of women in the family, two special flavors that bring a cozy atmosphere and the quintessence of this holiday. Ingredients to prepare 1.3 kilograms of sea crabs, about 4 crabs, wash and drain. 300 grams of fresh young lim fish, wash the lim fish with diluted salt water and lemon, drain, then sprinkle a little salt to make the fish firm. 1 cup of chopped lemongrass, partly minced, 2 slices of ginger, 1 lemon, 2 garlic cloves and 3 shallots, minced, 1 thinly sliced paro onion. Some raw vegetables to eat with, salad, cucumber, yellow bell pepper. Thinly sliced red chili, adding a little spicy to make the braised dish more attractive. Olive oil, fish sauce, black pepper, pink salt, brown sugar and other spices according to family taste. Braised snakehead fish with lemongrass, marinate the fish, in a large bowl, mix the fish with garlic, shallots, brown sugar, pepper, a little pink salt, a little fish sauce and chopped chili, if you want it spicy. Braised fish, in a pot, add cooking oil and heat. Add minced garlic and shallots to saute until fragrant, add one cup of filtered water and continue to boil. Then add the snakehead fish, stir well for about 3 minutes until the fish is cooked. Next, add lemongrass, chili, shallots and simmer for about 5 minutes until fragrant. Season to taste and turn off the stove. Steamed sea crab, to preserve the natural sweetness, the crab is steamed with two slices of ginger, which helps remove the fishy smell and enhance the mild aroma while preserving the fresh and sweet taste of the ocean. So we have completed the two dishes of braised snakehead fish with lemongrass and steamed sea crab. Enjoy! Braised yum lim fish with lemongrass is best when eaten with raw vegetables and hot white rice, and steamed sea crab is best when dipped in salt, pepper, lemon and a little chili. Arrange the crab and fish pan on the party table. You can decorate with a few types of fruit as you like to increase the attractiveness and uniqueness of the party table. When breaking each piece of firm crab meat, dipping it in a bowl of slightly spicy sauce, the sweet taste of the crab meat blends with the sweet. Sour, spicy and salty taste to create an explosion of taste buds. The rich flavor of the fish, combined with the aroma of lemongrass, the slight spiciness of chili, fried garlic and the crunchiness of the fish create an unforgettable feeling. Steamed sea crab and braised young lin fish with lemongrass, two simple dishes but containing so much love, have become symbols of the cozy atmosphere of the family during the holiday. The sweet taste of the crab, the richness of lim fish, along with the stories and laughter echoing around the dinner table make our Independence Day more meaningful and memorable. Here we would like to end the article on steamed sea crab and braised young lim fish with lemongrass, the taste of Independence Day. Goodbye and see you again at Van Tra Kitchen next time.